let's talk about BP 157. This is one I'm a little, yeah, yeah this is BBC 157, I'm sorry. This is one I'm familiar with a little bit, just being a, you know, in sports medicine as a chiropractor. I had a, I had a patient come to me about a long time ago, like six years ago, and he was injecting BPC 157 into his ankle. Oh. No medical background at all, you know, he just, he got it, you know, off the internet. And I was, like so I was, into the joint itself? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. And so thankfully he was seeing benefits. I was shocked when he told me, I was like, Ooh. You know, I think you should go somewhere else, you know, to get some guidance on that. But he said it was helping him. So, can you guys explain that for everyone who's got some joint issues, maybe some osteoarthritis, how that can be beneficial? Well, it's, it's a great anti-inflammatory. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty small peptide. It's like 15 amino acids long. Um, and it induces, like, angiogenesis, I think, through – they don't really understand the mechanisms real great, but, like, VEGF, the vascular okay. endothelial growth factor – gets upregulated in those. They've also shown in studies for any kind of, uh, you know, like tendon tear or muscle tear that the, at least the animals, the rats that they did the tendon studies in with the BPC-157, you actually get tendon fibroblast outcropping from the severed ends of the tendons. And given enough time, and, you know, they actually have mended, okay. and then they did strength studies on them, and those areas where it mended were just as strong, if not stronger, than the original tendon. So it was wow. like, that's impressive. I mean, it's like really, and I've noticed me personally, um, I, I think I might have torn my rotator cuff. I'm not exactly sure right before this whole COVID-19 thing oh, really? came off. So, and I, I don't know what I was doing. It was very innocuous kind of whatever it was. Just one day I was like, Oh my God. And it hurt like and hell. And ever since then, took. it's, yeah, it could be from the uh, four quinolones I took last year Not for sure. across the Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we already know that that's a increased risk. So I may have torn a tendon or whatever, but when I'm using BPC 157, it's, I can't lift because I'm afraid to, but, um, cause it does hurt like hell, but, um, it helps with the inflammation. Like I have no pain right now at rest. I can still have some range of motion without any sequelae at all as opposed to without it, like if I go four or five days without it, I'm like, I'll, I'll reach for something and it'll just almost drop me to my knees because it hurts so bad. So it works well. I mean, BPC-157 is awesome. Yeah, it's been shown to work on tendon to bone regrowth, mm -hmm. healing tendons and ligaments. Um, it also is shown to have organ protection. So really where they discovered it is it was in the gastric yeah. juices of humans. Ah. Um, and it has a protective effect so any kind of GI problem, like uh, leaky gut, Crohn's disease, IBS, uh, severe abdominal cramping, um, it really has, it can actually heal. They've actually used it in, when we do surgery, you know, do end-to-end -end anastomosis when we do a bowel resection yeah. and we put them together, they've given them oral BPC. We sure. take ours injectable, but they have an oral uh, formula as well. And what is it called? It's a body protective compound? Mm -hmm. complex. Yeah, bo complex, compound, compound. Um, but that's what the BPC stands for. But there's an oral prep that you can take. And like she said, Crohn's, inflammatory bowel. And they showed in this end-to-end -end anastomosis, uh, anastomosis that it healed those really well. So this is pretty amazing stuff. I mean, yeah, like this awesome. is the, it's exciting. yeah, this is kind of the Wolverine, uh, you know, heal like Wolverine <laughs> kind of medication as I heard one person say, and I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. And right. it's not quite to that degree, obviously, but but, yeah, still, but still, it's pretty still, phenomenal. Right. And just my, when I was growing up, you know, I had sprained my ankle when I was 16, real bad. And since then, not kidding, two to 300 times later, I've sprained it. Yeah. And we know from studies that if you sprain your ankle once, you have about, I think it's 75% that you, 75% chance that you'll re-sprain it in that same subsequent year. Mm -hmm. So things like BPC-157 seem like they can help accelerate some of that healing time to these areas that are usually vascular maybe so i mean i think this is kind of going to be one of those things that we're going to start to look at more and more and, and is bpc 157 cheaper than say stem cells oh yeah yes. a lot cheaper i think everything's cheaper than stem cells. <laughs> right stem cells are expensive right so now with bbc 157 they um a lot of podcasts out there say that you have to inject it locally and so when we first started using it we did that locally so and we still inject it locally in your shoulder but studies have shown that it gets intravascular anyway so you don't necessarily have to do it locally mm -hmm. but as an acupuncturist i'll take the bpc 157 and i'll inject it in specific points in the acupuncture channels related to so 
it had a 52 year old eyes and I love to read and my eyes get tired and fatigued. So there's a couple of spots in Chinese medicine that are related to increasing the vision. And so I will probably every other day or so I'll inject these spots with BPC 157, the acupuncture points. And I will notice the next day, my eyes will be much less tired. I won't have as much fatigue. So um, I'm super excited. I want to do some sort of study on it to see like mm. actually getting that compound in an acupuncture point to get it to flow along that acupuncture channel can have far reaching effects. It's just wow. super awesome. That's so just cool. to clarify too, we inject around my shoulder sub Q, not into not the shoulder into the joint. joint so. Got it. We haven't no, tried we, that we yet. Could, right? We probably could, but you know, without an ultrasound and without, yeah. yeah. Right. So it's just easier sub Q to kind of keep it. And like I said, it makes sense. It doesn't make, it, it makes sense to, doesn't matter where you put it, it's going to go systemic and it will do its magic uh, systemically. And I just, you know, the psychology of it is, well, if I put it close here, it'll get here faster, which is kind of silly, but you know, right, anyway. Right. It makes sense though, because some areas yeah, rather put it don't have as much yeah. blood. Gotta put, it, yeah, so. gotta put it somewhere. So I was right. injecting it into my Achilles um, after we do trail running and my yeah. Achilles were hurting, but then after reading the study saying, no, you really don't have to put it exactly in the area. I was like, oh yeah, I think I'll stop injecting sure, it in my, right, yeah. because that hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And so. If I was a patient coming to you for BP, BPC-157, how often would I be doing it? And how, I mean, how quick are the results? Probably do it daily. Be expected. Daily? Until you Depends saw results. Injury. So maybe yeah. daily for two months, maybe? Daily for two months, maybe. okay. Very if cool. you needed it that long. Most people don't. And a lot of it, is it self-guided? Like you you would say, hey, Robert, you're going to take this home and do it, or I have to come to the office to do it? If you don't mm -hmm. mind sticking mm -hmm. yourself. Right, okay. Yeah, you have to not be um, shy of needles and, you know, because it does require a little tuberculosis syringe and then, you know, with the, you know, you draw up needles so you can draw it out of the bile and then putting on a little bitty TV needle so you can put it. And then I I just prefer my belly because it's, you know, maybe because I'm a little extra in that <laughs> section so I don't feel <laughs> Me too. it. It doesn't yeah. even hurt at all. I don't even feel it 99% of the time. Um, I've seen Natalie kind of, you know, pick a little sub Q spot on her thigh. I mean, anywhere that there's skin, basically you put it anywhere. Right. It's a small uh, gauge as long as needle. It, yeah. It's a very small okay. gauge needle. So as long as, you know, if you put it in the skin, the blood's going to flow there. It's going to pick it up. It's going to distribute it systemically. So, but for you, if you came in, I would say, yeah, you're going to do, um, about, what is it? About 300 micrograms and you probably would do that. Yeah. And you'd probably do Once that every day, day for you know, until you either are healing. Um, I think with me anyway, I noticed it within 12 hours. Wow. That it was like the pain that was there just at rest, you know, and even the pain that like, if I did this would really hurt, but now I don't have pain at rest and I can do that and not feel it. Now, if I try to go over my head, we got a whole nother ball game and a whole nother conversation going Sure. On. But, um, you know, so it works pretty quickly. And then, you know, we try to, you know, until you're healed, you keep doing it. Probably for up to your about ankle couple months. around uh, for one month or two months. One or two months. Be, mm -hmm. And would you say doing like physical therapy with the BPC-157 would have more accelerated results? You know, kind of going back to that Davis's law, you know, tissues remodeled based on the stresses put upon them. Oh, so yes. would you think that would kind of help maybe? Certainly, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Sure. Awesome, guys. I'm probably going to have to get some BPC-157 for myself yeah. soon. <laughs> and I'll help you with the shoulder with the yeah. exercise. Yeah. <laughs>